I believe in nonviolence. I believe in resistance. There's nothing wrong with getting arrested. Yeah. I've done it almost a hundred times. Wow. It's all American and it's whole. At home, we call it a life of high adventure. I oppose nuclear weapons, so I do something about it. I despise nuclear power, so I let the companies know. The first day I walked into work at the Progressive Magazine in Madison, Wisconsin, I knew I was in trouble. Back in 1983, I became a peace activist and nonviolent resistor while working there. Everybody should work at the Progressive. <clears throat> Civil resistance is my passion in this collective struggle we're in to save ourselves. No harm in nonviolent resistance to draw attention to the deadly nuclear industry and to senseless ongoing war. In January, I finished eight months for climbing through a fence at the Y-12 weapons factory in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Next time, I expect you all to be with me. I know you can and do write letters, sign petitions, pass out literature, call into radio programs, write songs, do dances, create art and videos. I know you plaster your cars with bumper stickers. You may belong to an organization that purchased a, pill, a billboard for peace, painted a mural, and had a discussion about community justice. Perhaps you've joined a march or a vigil and now occupy. Maybe you organized a run for freedom. Maybe you even recycled your TV. <laughs> there are so many things to do, like buy responsibly, picket, strike, divest from harmful industries. Why, you could refuse to pay your taxes, help blockade the entrance of a weapons manufacturer, sit in a tree to prevent clear cutting and save old growth trees, occupy, occupy a nuclear missile silo, even do a citizen's arrest of nuclear war plan planners and manufacturers. My dream is that one day we will walk up to the White House and simply ask for the keys. Yeah! But in the meantime, Love you. <laughs> our water is being poisoned, food supply altered, people tortured, and everyone today and in the future radioactively contaminated. And then there's drive, drive, drive. You know the story. Each of us is responsible. For three decades, 25, 29 years to be exact, I have resisted the nuclear industry and the war system, and I know that what I do is not enough. And I know we are not enough yet. And I know this is no time to stop. As people have turned their focus to climate change, the reality of nuclear war and the danger of nuclear reactors have been minimized in the media and industry, even in the face of Fukushima. Don't believe the nuclear utilities that nuclear power is green, cheap, or more importantly, safe. Don't. When it comes to nuclear weapons, the law is on our side. The Nuremberg Principles, the Geneva Conventions, the Hague Conventions, the International Court of Justice at the Hague, the Non-Proliferation Treaty, the UN General Assembly, the UN uh, yeah, Assembly Resol Resolutions, Humanitarian Law, Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, Making Treaties the Supreme Law of the Land, the Fifth Commandment, God, the Golden Rule, <laughs> Sam Day, my mentor, and I all agree that the mere possession of nuclear weapons is immoral, in illegal, and a crime against humanity. Yeah. 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 Our situation is serious and nuclear weapons make it grave. The flight to impact time for your average nuclear weapon is 12 minutes. That's it. And what if it's a computer accident? Shit happens. The fact that nuclear weapons sit on hair trigger alert deserves nonviolent civil resistance and more. And the more people we are, the more change happens. Yeah. The nuclear freeze movement of the 80s would not have been complete without 
nonviolent civil disobedience. From Greenham Common and the Seneca yeah. Women's Peace Camp, yeah. we're part of an influential bunch of people. Folks working to stop nuclear testing in Nevada were arrested by the thousands. Millions marched in Washington. Plowshares activists showed us what real disarmament looks like. Got a weapon? Take it apart. All it takes is a hammer. Yeah. Think Woo. now of the women uh, working to close Vermont Yankee, the reactor out there. Yeah. Frances Crow of Northampton, Massachusetts said yeah. she wants Vermont, Vermont Yankee to cease operations because she feels it's a threat to the people who live by live nearby. She's 93 years old and asked when hum and asked how many times she'd been arrested. She answered, not enough. Yeah. Think of the assets to getting arrested. It's great studio time, even if toilet paper is the only artist's resource. Oh wait, sometimes there's no toilet paper. <laughs> have a new experience. Meet people you would never otherwise have the opportunity to meet have the chance to go to court, come face to face with our soldiers, their guns and tanks, meet the police, get a ride, go to court, be silenced and found guilty, get another ride, go to jail, have your picture taken, wear the ugliest clothes imaginable, and used the clean underwear, watch TV all day, play cards, live in solidarity with the poor, marginalized, and oppressed people of our society, meet new people, and celebrate the day like never before when you get out. All right, and you can also get, let me show you, it's my show and tell right here. I got this free going to jail. Antiperspirant deodorant made by the Bob Barker Company Incorporated, and it is called Maximum Security. You can get one of these. Actually, people in the jails these days are hungry, and rehabilitation is an illusion fed to the people on the outside. Furthermore, the jails and prisons deserve us. It's the activists of the United States who typically speak on behalf of the millions and millions of people in our jails and prisons. I've been asked if civil resistance or disobedience works. I don't know. I know it can't hurt. And I'm a firm believer in trying everything. So sign those petitions, sing those songs, join your hands together, then nonviolently step across the line to resist. Woo!